It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for Season 8 of The Walking Dead. This is going to be my promo breakdown for Season 8, Episode 14, called Still Gotta Mean Something. Before I jump into this promo breakdown, two things I want to mention. One, my reaction to the last episode, Episode 13, which was called Do Not Send Us Astray, has been uploaded. So if you're interested in checking that out, go check that out as well. And the other thing I want to mention, if you're new here, and if you have not subscribed, make sure to press the subscribe button and also the bell so you get daily notifications for daily videos that I upload. And stay tuned for a lot of content coming up for Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead in the next couple of hours. So that being said, let's jump right into this. So the promo starts with this shot of Hilltop. We have all of the walkers surrounding the walls of the hilltop, which is very interesting because it has a lot of No Way Out vibes to it. And I even mentioned in my reaction when we saw a portion of these walkers at the gates, it's like No Way Out 2.0. So that's very interesting. And obviously, the reason why the herd of walkers are attracted towards hilltop is because of the gunfight that was going on the night before the explosions, the screams, and everything along those lines. So that's the reason why the walkers are basically surrounding the hilltop. On the next episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. We have this shot of Rick. This is, again, at hilltop. Now, the other very interesting thing is that Rick has his kill jacket, or his kill coat, which is very cool. It's the same jacket that he was wearing in Season 5 and a bit of Season 6. And when... Rick wears that, especially when he is growing out his beard. That's when he's the most savage. We have Rick asking this savior, where did they go? Obviously referring to the saviors that ran away. Oh, I already told Maggie everything. And he replies, I already told Maggie everything. And we did see that in the last episode, him talking to Maggie about them. Don't tell me. And Rick very confidently asks, so tell me. Meaning that he doesn't care what he told her, he wants to hear it for himself. Which is something very interesting as well. We have this shot of Rick running in the woods, maybe looking for the saviors that ran away, the prisoners. Or maybe just looking out for the walkers that are coming towards the hilltop. We have this shot of Morgan and Carol on the road. I'm assuming this is close to hilltop as well. And they're basically looking at this herd of walkers coming in. And, you know, we are getting some signs that maybe this episode is going to be walker-centric and walker-heavy. And we might see a scenario where we might have a smaller version of No Way Out. Not No Way Out 2.0 per se, but a smaller version of No Way Out at Hilltop this time. Rosita talking to Daryl and maybe some others about, you know, the saviors. She says, you think they're running out of ammo, meaning that Daryl most likely suggested that they are. And Rosita continues with saying that they have our bullet maker, referring to Eugene. A bullet maker. And then we have this shot here of Rosita and Daryl. And they're basically looking at the factory that Eugene and the others are at. And Eugene is making bullets there. If you remember, this is the same exact spot that Abraham and Eugene found back in season six. I don't take out the machines. Take and we have this shot of Eugene and the other saviors. And we do see Regina, one of the top lieutenants for the saviors, there as well, as maybe Eugene's top bodyguard or something along those lines. And we do also hear Rosita saying something along the lines of, I'm going to go get the machines or something along those lines. I can't exactly make out what she's saying. But it's most likely something to do with the machines that are at the factory, what Eugene is using to make these bullets. She also mentioned something along the lines of enough to get them in or something like that. I don't exactly know what that's referring to. Obviously some plan about how they're gonna approach taking care of the saviors there and basically maybe getting Eugene out. Maybe that's part of their plan. We have Rick talking to Morgan, saying we finish it. You and me. You and me. So it seems like we're going to see Morgan and Rick together in this episode, killing saviors, 
being badass. So that's going to be pretty interesting. That's something that I'm very interested to see in this episode. We haven't seen Morgan and Rick together fighting like this in, I would say, a long time. We have these couple shots of Morgan and Rick killing a bunch of walkers. Now, they might be there to get supplies. They might be there because some saviors are there. But there's definitely some sort of mission that Rick and Morgan are on in this episode. And then we have the promo end with this very, very interesting shot of Jadis and Negan here. He is obviously tied up. We have Jadis dragging him out. What's interesting is that she's holding Lucille. That's a very interesting, very interesting turn of events with Jadis and Negan. I will be doing a standalone video about what I think Jadis is going to do to Negan, so stay tuned for that. But... I don't think Jadis is going to kill Negan, but I do believe that we're going to see Jadis try to torture Negan in a psychological way. So that's going to be very interesting. But the fact that Jadis is holding Lucille, maybe that's a torture for Negan in itself. But that's basically it for this promo breakdown. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.